Russian media has blamed much of Ukraine's unrest on nationalist and radical parties. It's been claimed that fascist ideas were popular among voters. One nationalist Svoboda party candidate who got just over 1% of the vote in Sunday's election says that's not the case. I don't know what Putin will dream up next, but I'm sure he'll find some way of intimidating Russians, he says. This political expert says the president's first round electoral win is a stab in the back of Russia's propaganda. Demand for stabilization in Ukraine is more important than the demand for radical appeals. The Svoboda party did not manage to do anything new and their approval rating shows the level of their political influence. Many Ukrainians said they did not vote for nationalists because they wanted their country to have a rational, moderate president who would cool tensions with Russia and re-establish peace in the East. Svoboda party is highly regarded among Western and Central Ukrainians, but we didn't vote for its candidate, not because of its poor approval rating, but because we wanted to have Poroshenko for conciliation. The candidate who ran for president from a radical organization said his aim was not to become president, but he wanted to show people that they could defend Ukraine's interests. Solving the Ukraine crisis may take more than the snappy marketing that's made Poroshenko's chocolate a market leader.